Hey guys, it's Armfro here. Sorry it took a while to actually upload this video. It took a lot of editing and school's kind of been a bitch, but you know, we're in the swamp. We're finally to the frog. I know I kind of edited through the little going to him, but it was literally took me too long to do that, so I just might as well just said we're going to go to the boss fight. Um, to this guy, we actually need to fight his little minion guys, little three guys here. Um, Hopefully we'll get um, an ultimate by the end of this video. I highly doubt it because it takes a about each one of my guys need at least five more levels to um, get you all into ultimates. I know at least Greymon and Cedramon do. So here uh, we're gonna fight the three little Gekamon. They don't—they're not that hard. Um, they're actually one of the weakest minion little guys in this area. So there shouldn't be too hard. The only problem is I need to destroy them fast so they don't do much damage to my Seedramon. Because he is my strongest guy, but he's weakest in defense. Um, so I'm actually easily take him out. One guy out with Seedramon. Gonna go with Gargomon. And go for Bunny Blast on both one, one of each. Um, so here we're gonna see how much damage. And it does about three-fourths of them. Maybe I get a crit? No way. Uh, but... Greymon should be able to take out at least one, at least one with Pepper Breath. Don't want to waste too much MP on these little guys, because they don't do much damage to me, but they might have to get the one chance of getting a crit and just completely destroy me. So, let's go for Devil's Tongue. See, it doesn't do that much damage, but he did confuse my Gargomon, which kind of would suck if he confused both. Uh, but luckily for me, it doesn't, and I'm actually able to take him out with a lightning and so that's the minions are gone so that's pretty easy for me i don't think anyone levels up oh drago did but here we go we're gonna fight the boss guy which he's actually extremely difficult um but it does there is a benefit he does take up two areas so every attack that actually would take would would fight two um would take one actually fights two so here we go 158 you know, speed up this this video a little more, um, just so I can actually do this into a timely manner. Um, gonna the thing about this guy is that he is fast, but um, his and his, um, he just doesn't have that much HP as a regular boss does. Um, he does instant freezer, and he doesn't seem to be that smart. Um, if he did that magical fist over and over and over again, I would obviously be gone in a little bit, but. He loves that Compost Hurler, and he loves the Instant Freezer. It takes out my Gargomon, sadly, um, which I'm fine with because he doesn't do much, that much damage, but I am going to revive him with my Greymon because my Greymon doesn't do that much damage, as you see here. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really do that much, about 100, 150, 140, um, with his strongest attack. So I'm going to go for the Revive Chip here, and brings about half his health. So he's gonna go for musical fist, hits every single one of the guys. Misses Gargamon, ironically. But I'm gonna go for HP chip on Seedramon and Gargamon, because Greymon, I know it could take at least one more hit. Because he's just he is the bulkiest guy that I have. But now Gargamon is really low on MP, so I'm gonna actually gonna boost that up a little bit. Um so he's gonna be in freezer on course on Gargomon. He seems to really, really, really hate Gargomon in this match. He just keeps on attacking him directly, um, and just completely losing interest in Seedramon and and Greymon. I, mean, I have to revive him at least three or four times during this match. Um, Greymon not really mattering what he does in this match, um, but Gargomon and Seedramon are my strongest hitters, so I need to keep them alive. So I'm gonna go for Bunny Pummel. And does 99, does about 200 damage overall, um, maybe a little more. So I'm going to go for item, might as well heal Greymon and Gargomon. Um, Greymon, I know it can take a lot of hits. It goes for Musical Fist. Poor little Seedramon cannot take a hit or shit. But I'm going to go for the Fiery Breath. See how much damage I can do, about, again, 150. Goes for Inter Freezer, of course, on Gargomon. As I'm just trying to destroy this guy as fast as possible so he can't take out my Seedramon, which is my biggest hitter in this game. Um, I luckily get a crit there, doesn't really do too much. I'm going to go for the Ice Blast to 147, Musical Fist. Oh, jeez. My two strongest hitters are almost dead. 
Um, I'm gonna go for Fiery Blast because Gargamon is really low on MP. I'm just gonna um, heal. I don't know, or just go for. I don't know why I did that. Just to try to do as much damage as I can, I guess. Um, luckily, he hits my Greymon, but then he goes again, hits, and there I die. But now I'm actually to switch out my my Digimon. I did a really stupid move. Um, so I'm actually gonna switch out Gargomon, so I can actually have one guy alive, and then do a double revive chip, and keep them alive, and then switch out Seedramon, and then revive him. So, instant freezer on Gargomon, of course, and Compost Hurler on Gargomon, because I don't know why he hates him so much. But now I'm gonna go for... The Fiery Blast, try to take this guy out as fast as possible, he's almost dead. Um, I'm gonna go for, um, might as well just go for Revive, because he's not gonna do t too much damage. So I'm gonna go Revive Gargomon, he goes for Instant Freezer, of course, on poor little Gargomon. He goes again, Compose Hurler on Greymon, which is weird. Does it three times? No, only twice, so I'm actually able to survive that one. So go Fiery Blast, hopefully kill him off! so close but I'm actually going to go for I think another tiny no what I'm moving why am I moving why oh I'm switching out siege so I can rev wait what the heck am I doing here I think I just decided just to go for an attack or revive yeah I mean he's almost at really he's at really low health so I might as well just try to take him out I go for the tiny twister finally take him out I know for I know gremlin goes level 20 um, Banicula goes another level, and then, uh, Punny goes another level. So here, I actually finish this guy off. Um, he actually decides, oh, we're gonna share the area with the, with the rock guys. I forgot their names. But, next, we're gonna go to the next area, which, because this, this battle took, didn't, didn't take that long, I'm actually gonna go to the next area, which is the, um, the sewers where Devamon is actually going to be waiting for us, and we need, we need to battle him. So, um, he actually gives us the gift, the star piece that What's-His-Face needs to give to Ellie um, to make him feel better, I guess. But, um, and actually, it's bigger than Ellie had, so Ellie's going to be really happy about that. But, um, I might actually get a, might get a champion from... Punny or um, Gremlin. I think Gremlin is actually a champion in itself. So, so we need to go to Digi Farm. Oops, I completely forgot about that. Zoom through this because I don't really care. Um, don't really need. Don't really care about the guys on my farm right now. At least need to go to the farm. Um, oh no no no! no. This isn't. The, this is the wrong area because I need to find Ellie. Um, in the city. And then give the star piece to him. Now, now I just need to find where the heck she is. So we're going to be searching for her. And I'm going to edit to the point where we actually find her. And we're back. So we're now we're giving it to Ellie. She probably doesn't even see this coming. Nope. No way in hell. So here we're going to give it to her. And this actually ends the mission here. I don't think we really get anything from this. But it just completes the mission, shows that Pagumon actually is a nice guy, and we need to raise him to hopefully give give him a chance at actually digivolving into an in training or a rookie. Um, I'm pretty sure rookie. But here, Pagumon. Yep, Pagumon is actually be, becoming a good little Digimon instead of being a little brat. And I think um, we actually get a Digimon. Oh, no, no, no. We actually get a visit from. A random mega Digimon, which I you have we haven't seen yet, but he's pretty much saying that we don't need trainers uh, as long as Digimon can digivolve. It doesn't means that they're growing there. Um, the growth of Digimon is simply to continue digivolving and growing stronger. It doesn't mean to matter about the kindness and the heart and all that crap that Digimon praises. So here, blah blah blah. Blah, blah, blah. I think we have to probably he's one of the last Digimon we have to fight I haven't actually gotten this far in the game um, like past this point so again every everything I see here is the first thing I'm gonna be seeing so here we're gonna go to the digi farm 
actually see what the heck we need to do next. And I'm pretty sure Devimon actually shows his face in the when I go to the Digi Farm. Blah blah blah. I think he actually gets. Oh my gosh, what? Ellie, it's Ellie. Oh, Ellie was kidnapped. That's by Devimon. Yep. So here is the message, and well, that's okay, whatever. But we're going to, and that would be my cell phone. There we go. Um, we're going to the drain tunnel to actually find Devimon so we can save Ellie. Why is it always Ellie? It's because she's a girl and she's a woman in distress, but whatever. Um, I know this is a little longer than my other videos just because I, had, I, did, I were doing two missions um, simultane simultaneously, can't say words, but we're going to go to Drain Tunnel and fight Devamon and actually hopefully grow into an ultimate. I think next episode was actually when I actually get an, uh, my first ultimate. Um, I do need to switch out Siege, um, Gremlin for Siegemon. I might do that in my, in my first battle. Um, remembering where the heck to go. There we go. We, now we get Siege Mon in the first battle. But um, blah, 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 blah. Switch it out. There we go. And we're keep on going. We need to find where Devmon is. I'm pretty sure he's actually where Platinum Sukumon was. Um, we're pretty sure we're almost getting to where I get an ultimate. At, probably at the end of, this, end of um, Devmon. I think when I actually fight Devmon, I'm one level away of actually getting an ultimate. Um, so I might just do off-screen training so I can actually get an ultimate. Um, in my first first part of the video, I'll show you guys the digivolution, but actually getting there is when, I, when is where the problem lies. So I'm gonna go up the ladder, and I'm still trying to remember where the heck to go. I know Platinum Sukumon was a bitch uh, was a bitch to get to just because not it wasn't very difficult to get to him. It's just very long, and so there's gonna be a lot of Digimon battle, battles on the way. So it's just an annoyance. I know to the left here there is a uh, air, well, there was a chest where I couldn't get at first because I wasn't high enough level at the time. So I'm actually gonna go back here, get this chest. What's in it? Something valuable? A lightsaber? Really? Really <laughs> a lightsaber? Whatever. Um, gonna go to Platinum Sukumon's area and go down here, go up there, and we're almost there. We're actually I'm pretty sure this is the area where we actually get to fight Devimon. Stupid freaking battles, come on! Um, and, yep, here we go. I'm actually, don't... Oh, I'm trying to actually get to a place where I actually can get to an ultimate Digimon. Um, or I'm trying to get where I level up my guys so they're at full HP. Maybe? I'm gonna probably gonna get to an area. I'll be right back to where I actually fight Devimon. And we're back. So here we're just gonna go straight to Devimon, just because he is probably he's actually might be the easiest boss yet. Um, because Devimon himself isn't all that powerful because he's still a champion Digimon. Um, so he actually calls on two other Digimon to fight to fight him, fight with him. But they're just extremely easy to take out. So here. We need to prepare ourselves for Devimon, which I don't know why this even this part was actually put into the game. It doesn't really seem to cause that much purpose, and the boss isn't that hard at all. So maybe maybe it might be a little filler um, to make the game a little longer. The only problem is that um, he does do a lot of damage, um, but of course it's a Seedramon, it's so it's not gonna be do that gonna not gonna do that much. I'm gonna attack Devimon, see how much damage I can do. Not that much. And he almost takes out my Siege Mon. I'm going to go for uh, Bunny Pummel, see how much damage I can do to Devimon. And then I realize that it'd be a lot easier if I just take out um, his little guys and then take out him so it'd be a lot easier so I don't get that much damage. But his Touch of Evil does do a lot of damage to me as he actually moves twice, almost kills Siege Mon. Don't kill Siege Mon. As long as he doesn't kill Sejimon, I should be fine. Um, I'm just going to heal up really fast. Um, I'm using so much items in this in this video. In this video. He goes for Razor Claws on Gargomon. I could do too much damage. I'm gonna, I think in this part where he's actually start fighting the little guys, see how much damage I can do. Yep. 
and I miss the first one, and I almost take him out on the second one, so that means they do not have that much HP. Um, so I'm going to go for Fiery Blast so I can hit Devmont and the little minion dude. Um, as long as I can take out the other guy, he can't do too much damage to me, but Devmont is pretty damn fast. So it is going to be a little, a little time consuming here um, just to actually take him out. Just because, I mean, he's not doing too much damage, but he is just more of an annoyance than anything because he is doing some damage. So I'm actually going to easily take him out with the Bunny Pummel. As now all that's left is Devamon. Um, Devamon is not that powerful all by himself, um, but he is just, he, he the whole fact that he does two moves is just kind of annoying. Um, so here I'm going to go for Ice Blast. Hopefully do a lot more damage to him because he's not in the back row anymore. Do a little more damage. Touch of Evil is going to do a lot of damage to poor little Siegemon because he just cannot take a hit. But he does so much damage. So here, I'm going to go for the bun Bunny Pummel on him. Gargamon seems to be my strongest Digimon at the moment. Uh, probably when I get Ultimates, he's probably going to be the weakest until he Digivolves into Rapidmon. Um, but he, he can take a hit and he can deal, deal with damage. He goes for Devil's Whisper. Which confuses this is this is the part where it gets really annoying because he is really low health. He but he uses Devil's Whisper, which confuses my guys. Um, and now Siegemon is paralyzed, and the other two are confused. So it's just all a matter of time until either one of my guys are knocked out, and I can switch out, or I can hit him and take him out. So here, space out, confused, par paralyzed. It's just more. There we go. Now finally, Gargamon, of course, is the one that knocks that knocks himself out of confusion, and I can easily take him out with a gargle with a bunny pummel. So here, I do take him out. Do one of my guys level up? I'm pretty sure one of them does. I don't remember. I think Gargamon, but um, Devamon, blah blah blah. He beats me. He was hired by Unknown D, of course, because he seems to be the whole theme in this game. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I think he said Pogamon's going to be leaving me soon for some odd reason. Um, <laughs> I don't think I even understand it anyways. But now we're just going to go back to the tunnel. We finally get Ellie back, which is... I don't know why she keeps on getting kidnapped and we need to pleasure her needs. Hey, <laughs> giggity. But um, we're finally going to go back to the... To the um, to the farm, and that's actually where we're going to be ending this episode, where this whole little cutscene ends uh, after the farm, which is we need to see the master to hopefully grow another rank, which would be really nice, but I really don't have an ultimate yet, but next thing we need to do is go to uh, a Black Agumon at Training Peak. That's our next area we need to go to, but first, we do need to go to buy, buy Human to actually see what the heck he wants. Um, maybe Pogamon Digivolves into something important, or maybe not. But here, I'm going to end it here. So thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comp, subscribe. Um, and as always, guys, stay classy.